Today we're making this cool little vignette and I'll teach you how to conserve your resin while filling this bucket of water. To start, I want to make my little bucket rusty and that starts with some super glue. I know it's hard to see, but I'm using a toothpick to spread some super glue on the surface of my bucket and then I sprinkle some baking soda over that. The baking soda leaves a great texture and I love painting rust over this effect. You can paint it directly onto the bucket, but I think the rust is more convincing when it has this underlying texture. I use this technique in sporadic spots, and now that I laid down my texture, I am ready for my rust paint. I'm using rust effects from Dirty Down Paints. This could not be easier. I really love this wash because it has chemicals in it that causes real oxidation, and I don't think rust effects gets more realistic than this. This is just the way I'm doing it. There are multiple ways to do this kind of thing, but after I laid down my first layer on all the textured areas, I put another coat on the rest of it. The bucket is looking great and it needs a companion. So the plan is to make this little mop in a puddle and I'm using some UV resin for this. I use Magic Fly UV resin because it was the cheapest resin I could find on Amazon at the time and I have a rechargeable UV flashlight for curing the resin. I keep my resin in a bag and I use gloves when I use it. I'm using a silicone baking mat and just applying some UV resin around the edges. I've actually never used wax paper or parchment paper instead of the silicone so I can't promise it won't stick. You guys will have to let me know. After I cure that first bit I add a bit more and in order to thin out my puddle and make it look a bit more realistic I pull it around with my toothpick and I also add some more UV resin to the mop yarn to make it look wet. To finish it off, I added a bit more of UV resin around the back and it's important to also cure the underside because there will be areas that the flashlight didn't reach and UV resin is toxic. So before you touch it or do anything, make sure it's entirely cured. Now I have this lovely mop which is a bit too pretty so I'm adding some grunge to the underside simply by painting on some brown paint. I just want to make this look like it's sitting in a puddle of dirty water. And I didn't want the handle to be left out so I hit it quickly with some darker brown paint. So we're back to our bucket of water. What I'm doing here is marking out the diameter of the bucket on a piece of trash plastic. This is a great technique for conserving resin. Rather than filling your entire bucket with water or whatever receptacle you have, you can block off a section with a piece of trash plastic and only top it off with resin. This second technique for conserving resin is the one I will be using. All I do is fill my bucket with some hot glue. I tap it down a bit to flatten it out and let it cool. I do this in a couple layers. It looks like it's clear, but it does dry cloudy, so this is a technique you use if you don't need clear resin or water. I certainly do not want clear water since I want this to look like dirty mop water, so I'm adding some chalk pastels and mixing it with a toothpick. Here's a little tip for you. Anything I use to mix the resin or anything the resin gets on, I cure that as well so the resin will no longer be toxic. Once you top off the glue with the resin, it really does make the entire thing more clear and it is ready to be displayed in your miniature space. Make sure you check out some other fun videos of mine. Thank you for watching. Bye.